everyone, today's video is going to be a first impression slash review on this foundation brush here. This one is like the Artiste brushes but it's like a dupe version of it. This is only £1 or 99p on eBay so I thought I would test it out today and give it a try. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Artiste brushes so it's meant to be used for like foundation, concealer and cream contour. So I'm going to try all of them today and put it to the test. For today I've just done my eyes and I've put a bit of lip balm on, I haven't got no foundation on and no concealer or anything like that, so this is my bare skin, so I'm just going to go in and test it straight out. I'm not going to use a primer, I'm just going to go straight in with the foundation. So the brush itself is just a black plastic packaging and then it just has a round bristle here. They are slightly tapered but not very much. Um, the, bristle, the bristles on this aren't too too soft but they're, they're okay. Um, the only downside is the sharp plastic on the side just here. Like if you put this across your face sometimes you can scratch it with this plastic here if you go too much on the side. So you really have to use it flat like this to make it work otherwise if you use if you're swiping like this you could catch your skin on the hard plastic. But I think that's only because this is the cheaper one. If you get the Artiste ones, I believe this side bit is more rounded so it doesn't catch. But again, we will test this out. So the foundation we'll be using today is the Rimmel London Wake Me Up. I'm back in love with this. I haven't used this for a while. And then all of a sudden I'm just got back into it and I'm in love with it. So I'm gonna apply this to the back of my hand. Just applied two pumps to my hand so far. And then I'm just gonna pick it up with the brush because that's what I've heard you're supposed to do rather than dot it on your face. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But I'm just going to pat my brush into the product. And I'm just gonna start swirling this onto the face. Okay, so I have no idea which direction. I'm not sure if you're supposed to go round or sweep in. So let's just try sweeping first. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that method because you get streaks. So I'm just going to go round. This might get a, like, this might take a while to get used to because I'm so used to the old traditional way of doing your foundation. But so far, I'm not sure because I'm getting a little bit of streakage. And it's not the foundation, I know that because I love that foundation. It's just a bit streaky in the way it's applying and it's really tricky to get around the nose. fits nicely under the eyes which is a good good sign but yeah I feel like you have to go down with this brush because when I went like this you got streaks and when I went round you got streaks so I'm just going to be applying this down the face like this I feel like that's the best method to go for so again I am putting some more on the other side yeah and I'm going back down again I feel like this is the best way to apply it So it's applying nicely, it's just doing a thin layer of the foundation. But it's smoothing it out nicely actually. And it does feel weird because it feels like it's a toothbrush but it's not. So that was two pumps, so I've done both sides. I'm just going to do one more pump because I've got my chin and my forehead to go. And then possibly any like touch ups if I need it. So back on my chin area and down my nose and then back onto the forehead usually this foundation doesn't give you ultimate coverage it's like a medium coverage but it's buildable so that's what i like about this foundation so i'm going to see if i can layer it up as well using this brush taking the last bit of that foundation and i'm just going over back over my cheek area and then my nose again and my opposite cheek just for a bit more coverage. But I feel like I'm getting the hang of this brush now. Okay, so that's my foundation on. And it doesn't feel that bad actually. It has applied really nicely. There's a bit of a patch I've missed just on my nose here. Okay. It's just getting right into the corner of the nose. That's the trickiest part. So now I'm going to test that brush out with concealer and then move on to cream contour as well. So the concealer I'm going to be using today is the Pro Concealer in Classic Ivory. So I'm going underneath my eyes. And 
I'm going to go back with that brush and I'm just going to buff this in. This is going to be the hardest because with the eyes I feel like I should be doing this. But I feel like you need to go down with this brush. I have no idea why. So I'm just going to pat this on my spot. Because I feel like with spots you need to concentrate that area. And then with the eye I'm going to go try down first. Yeah, I feel like downwards is really the best option for this. And then again, the nose. Instead of like swiping, I'm almost like patting it on my nose. Because the nose is always the hardest area for me to cover. Because I wear glasses, so. And I'm going to go back in the eye, and right in the corner I am patting it, like pushing it in. Sweeping, yeah, look, like if you sweep it, can you see? When you sweep it, you remove product. So I feel like you need to go down. There you go. You need to, definitely need to go downwards. Okay, so I've just set my concealer in place with some powder. This is the Pure Minerals 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Powder. So I just use this one to set underneath my eyes because whenever I use concealer, I have to set it straight away otherwise it's just going to crease everywhere. So that is set in place. I still have a tiny bit of foundation left in my hand, but overall I am really impressed with this brush for foundation and concealer. It applied it nicely, but you have to go in the same direction. You can't go in circular motions with this and you can't swipe, which I thought you would be able to. I think you can with the proper artiste brushes, but with this one in particular you have to go down. Um, I have no idea why, but I go like this instead of sideways down. I'm not sure if that makes a difference or not, but definitely for this type of um, brush, I found that going down in a downwards motion was a better coverage and better laying down the product. Rather than swiping, like I showed you with the concealer, it just removed all that product, so it's pointless doing that. So definitely a downwards motion or a patting motion is the best for this. So now let's try cream contour. So I'm back, I'm going to be using my Freedom palette today for the cream contour. So this is the Pro Strobe Cream Palette. So I'm going to be using a mixture of these two colours here for my contour today. and place down the cream contour. Okay, so before, so with this I feel like it needs to go down again, but then again, if you're going down, you're just gonna be moving the product down your face and that's not where you want your contour, you want it to stay in that position. So I feel like maybe patting an upwards motion would work. Let's just try this out. So I'm patting it on. I'm like almost patting and pulling forward, so like push, pulling upwards towards my ear. You see now I feel like that's just disturbed, disturbed my makeup, like it's pulling my foundation off a bit. Can you even see that? Probably not. So I don't recommend this for cream contour, in my opinion. So I'm just going to go straight into the palette with a brush and see if that makes any difference. So I've applied a little bit. And I'm just going to pat this on. And try and, I'm just literally trying to pat and see if I can blend it this way. Because when I'm moving it upwards, it seems to like pull my foundation up, which is pointless. I am pat pat pat. Yeah, this definitely works this way. Yeah, patting definitely works. So I'm going to go ahead with the other side. I am just literally going into the palette now, as you can see. So I'm just mixing these two colours together. And I'm just going to go in and start patting on this side. Now if it was me, I wouldn't recommend this brush for contour. It just doesn't seem worth the hassle, to be honest. I much prefer using another brush that I know is going to lay down the product nicely. This just seems a lot of hassle because like, I'm nervous about pulling up my foundation and my concealer. It feels like I'm just ruining all that hard work. It does look nice though when you pat it in. I will give it that. But 
I don't know. I'm not keen on it. It's not bad, it's not awful, it's just not my cup of tea. <laughs> so that's how it looks like. It's not bad actually, it's better than this side because I kind of messed up my foundation on this side. Do I prefer it for contour? No, definitely not. But I do like it for foundation. I wouldn't use it for concealer or contour to be honest because the concealer I always tend to blend my concealer out this way like pat or swipe this way and not go down so that was a weird motion for concealer. Foundation is fine going down because you're supposed to go down the face anyway because of little fine hairs so it lays flat against your skin and it doesn't stick up. That was fine for me so I do like it in the foundation that's really nice. Um, the size of it is pretty small so it does take you a lot longer to actually apply and blend out rather than a traditional flat foundation brush or something. It does take a lot longer to apply but for a pound I think it's really good, it's not bad. Um, I would probably, I would love to try the actual proper artiste brushes and then compare it one day so when I do buy an artiste brush I will probably do an updated video but for an eBay beauty find I think it's pretty good to be honest. The cream contour isn't bad if you pat it on, like this side I do like, but when you swipe it then you mess up your foundation and you try and fix it again, it doesn't look that, that good to be honest, but again, foundation, I'm impressed. I really hope you enjoyed this first impressions, I think for a pound it's really really good, and it's good for like foundation like I said, but anything else then probably not. So I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know below if you have this brush and if you like it as well and what you use it for, and I will see you in my next video, bye.